Welcome, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me here on Yoga TX. I'm Jen Hillman, and I'm gonna be your host every Thursday with fresh new yoga flows to help you get this year going right. Now today, I have a nice beginner-friendly full body flow to help you start this new year on the right foot. So go ahead and like this video, leave your comments below, and while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll be seeing you every Thursday. Now let's go ahead and roll out your mat and get ready for this yoga party. For today's practice, we're gonna begin in a nice, easy seat. Now I think it can be helpful to sit on a blanket or on a cushion Something that lifts your hips up a little bit higher can really help you to feel more comfortable if your hips are tight or if you have tension in your spine. So as you get settled into your seat, go ahead and start tuning into a feeling of lift, extending energy up your spine and all the way out through the crown of your head. And notice that as you sit up nice and tall, you feel a subtle, gentle engagement of the muscles around your core center. Allow your breath to deepen as you settle into this seat and tune in to that gentle awakening in your body. Allowing yourself to quiet the mind and fully arrive for your practice today. And let's just make some nice easy circles with the shoulders, shrugging your shoulders up towards your ears and rolling them back and gliding down your back. So just making some nice big circles here, warming it up, relaxing any tension and moving any stagnation. And you can reverse directions as you're ready, circling your shoulders the other way, and just feeling that mobility around the shoulder blades and in the collarbones and in the shoulder joint itself. And slowly relax back down to center, to feeling your neck grow long. And we'll slowly tilt your right ear to your right shoulder, feeling a gentle stretch along the left side of your neck. Bring your right hand up and around to gently land onto the left side of your head. And you can even bring your left hand to your left shoulder. And gently begin to press your hands away from each other slowly increasing the stretch along that left side of your neck. Take one more full round of breath all the way in. And exhale, letting that breath flow all the way out. And slowly relax your hands down and let your chin roll forward towards center. And we'll slowly roll your left ear to your left shoulder, noticing how it feels as you stretch the right side of your neck. And we'll bring your left hand up and over, gently placing your hand to your head. Bring that right hand to the top of your right shoulder and gently begin to press your hands away from one another. See how much you can relax as you work into this stretch. Breathing slow and deep, allow the tension to melt. Then slowly relax your hands down and roll your chin back to center, letting your head fold forward here. And then bring your hands back behind your head. Let your elbows relax down towards the floor and give yourself a gentle pressure, just slightly pressing to the back of your head, accentuating the stretch down the back of your neck and down between your shoulders. 
take another full round of breath right here working your way into that stretch then on your next inhale slowly roll your head back up to center keeping your hands where they are open your elbows wide spreading your wings apart lift up tall through the crown of your head take a nice deep breath in then as you exhale begin to press your head back into your hands keeping the elbows stretching open wide press your head back and feel that stretch across the front of your chest and we'll slowly release to center take a nice deep breath in reaching your fingertips up tall then as you exhale we're just going to fold forward just gently folding down over your legs let your head and shoulders relax as you fold your body forward now just let yourself tune in and feel the subtle gentle stretch into your hips as you fold your body forward. We'll take another breath in and exhale all the way out and gently press yourself back up to center, making your way back in to your seat. Now from here we're going to transition to our hands and knees making your way into a tabletop position. Now, as you make your way into this tabletop, you may find it helpful to have a folded up blanket or some cushion underneath your knees to give you a little extra support. And I recommend curling your toes under behind you. This gives you a little more muscular activation at the front of the legs, which also is helping to protect your knees. Now from this stable and sturdy tabletop, we'll begin to flow with some cat and cow. So as you inhale your breath, lift up your heart and lift up your tail, expanding your front body as you inhale. Then as you exhale, curl your belly in towards your spine. Tuck your chin to your chest and curl your tailbone under. Flowing with your breath, we inhale to lift your heart, lift your tail, roll your shoulders down away from your ears. Then exhale and curl it in towards center. You could think of yourself like a snail shell spiraling in towards center. One more time. Let's inhale to lift your heart and your tail, stretching your tummy. Then exhale to curl it in, rounding through your back. Really press your spine to the sky so you feel that stretch. And slowly release yourself back to center, coming back to that tabletop. Now, walk your hands forward towards the front edge of your mat, keeping your hips stacking over your knees. Let your heart softly melt down towards the floor. This is a big stretch to open up your chest and your shoulders. So if you spend a lot of time sitting at your desk or hunching over your computer, this is a great stretch to reverse the curve and open up the upper back. So let yourself take one more full round of breath all the way in and all the way out, letting your heart soften towards the earth. And slowly begin to walk your hands back in, 
pressing yourself back to that tabletop. And with your toes curled under, begin to draw your hips up towards the sky, pressing back towards our downward facing dog. Now you can walk your dog a little bit here, pedaling out your feet, bend one knee and then the other, stretching along your calves and your ankles and working your way up the legs. And once you've had a chance to warm up, begin to reach those heels down towards the mat. Spread your fingertips wide apart and press forward through your fingertips. Hug your belly up and in as you reach your tailbone to the sky. Now slowly start to walk your feet forward, just one little step at a time, making your way towards the front of your mat. And just notice what sensation each little step has to offer. And as you come forward to fold over your legs, you can always bend your knees as much as you need so that you really feel your upper body relax. You want to feel the weight of your head dropping down towards the floor, relaxing any tension along the back of your neck. Then again, we want to feel the shoulders relax. The arms are heavy, letting everything Fall down towards the earth, feeling a wonderful stretch down the length of your spine and down into the backs of your legs. Now, bring your hands onto your shins. And as you draw your next inhale, press against your shins and extend your heart forward lengthening out through your spine. Think about rolling your shoulders down your back and lifting your belly up and in. Then as you exhale, fold your body back down. You could even glide your hands to the back of your ankles and pull yourself down for a deeper fold. Now let's try that again. Gliding your hands to your shins. Inhale your breath, extending your heart forward. Then we'll exhale and slowly fold it back in. And if you wanna grab your ankles, you may be able to work your way into an even deeper fold. We'll do that for one more cycle pressing the hands to the shins. Inhale to lift and extend your heart forward. And exhale and slowly release, folding it back in, working your way to your deepest fold. From here, place your hands down onto the mat and step your feet back to a plank pose. So just take a moment here to shore up your plank, spreading your fingertips wide, press against the mat so you lift up and out of your shoulders. Then tone the strength of your legs as you scoop your belly in lifting and resisting the pull of gravity. Now from this strong plank pose, begin to rock your weight forward and back, just shifting front and back a few times, massaging your wrists. Yeah, then when you're ready, you can slowly release, and lower yourself all the way down to your belly. Then turn the tops of your feet down onto your mat. Then we're going to 
interlace your hands at the base of your spine. Squeeze the palms of your hands together as you simultaneously press down through the tops of your feet. So we actively press your legs into the mat as you squeeze your hands firmly together. Now, slowly start to reach your fists up towards the sky. And then on your inhale, peel your heart up away from the earth, gently lifting your chest. Reach your fists towards your heels, rolling your shoulders down your back. Take one more inhale and see if you can lift yourself up a little bit higher. Then exhale and slowly release. Bringing your hands alongside your chest, gently press your hips back to your heels, letting your forehead softly land onto the mat. Take three full cycles of breath right here in your child's pose. Let your breath massage your spine. Taking that full inhale and a full deep exhale. Now, we're gonna begin to flow a little movement in combination with your breath. So on your next inhale, shift your weight forward over your hands. You can keep your knees down to the floor as you inhale, you come to that half plank. And as you exhale, slowly lower yourself down to the mat with as much control as you can. Then we inhale to peel your heart up, rolling your shoulders down away from your ears. Then we'll exhale and press back to that child's pose. So we're gonna move through that cycle two more times for a total of three rounds. So as you inhale, come forward to the half plank. And exhale to slowly lower down with as much control as you can. And we inhale to lift, lengthen through your neck, as you strengthen in your back. We exhale to press it back to that child's pose. One more full round, a deep inhale. Moves you to the top of your mat. And the slow controlled exhale lowers you to the earth. Inhale to a cobra pose. And exhale, pressing back to your child's pose. Let your hips rest to your heels. And this time, guide your arms down alongside your body. You can turn your palms towards the sky, letting the backs of your hands Rest onto the mat. Feel your shoulders drape forward. Relax the base of your skull. Take a couple more deep breaths here. Just letting yourself drop in and be present for the moment. And then gently glide your hands back to the mat palms pressing down below your shoulders. Gently press yourself up to kneeling. And from here, you can glide your hips off to one side and swing your legs around in front of you. We're gonna come down onto your back.
So as you make your way onto your back, go ahead and hug your knees in towards your chest. Wrapping your arms around your shins, just give yourself a little squeeze, hugging your knees towards your chest. You could even rock yourself side to side a little bit if that feels good to your body. And from here, extend your left leg out to the floor in front of you. Then hug your right knee in towards your chest. See, we actively squeeze that right knee in, giving yourself a good deep squeeze. And let's draw that right knee all the way over towards the left side and see if you can bring that right knee all the way down to the floor on the left side. So even if your right shoulder is coming off the floor, it's okay. Just open that right arm out to the side and you'll start to access a gentle stretch across the right side of your chest. So you could even close your eyes here and let yourself really tune in. Feel even the most subtle sensations in your back, in your core, in your chest or in your shoulder. Slowing down and deepening your breath. Let yourself be present and fully feel what's going on in your body. See if you can still access a nice deep breath, even in this twisted shape. And we'll slowly begin to make your way back to center, gently rolling back to your back. Let's give that right leg one more squeeze of appreciation. Mm. And we'll trade it out for the left leg. So extending your right leg out in front of you, hug that left knee in towards your chest. So it's a very active squeeze. We're really pulling your knee in for the deepest flexion in the hip socket. Then we'll begin to move into the twist, gently guiding your left knee all the way over to that right side. So as best you can, we want to try and bring that knee all the way down to the floor. Now, if the left shoulder comes up, it's fine. We just open that left arm to the side. And again, this is another moment where we get to really tune in and feel gravity doing its work on the body. Rolling that left shoulder open towards the ceiling as you gently press your left knee down towards the earth. And then you have to exercise the breath. Can you breathe fully into the left side of the lungs? Massaging the body with your breath. Really let yourself go inward and feel the subtlety and feel the softening as your body begins to relax. And slowly make your way back onto your back. Let's give that left leg a little more love, just showing our appreciation. For what an awesome leg you have. Good. Then from here, we're going to bring both feet flat to the floor. So you want to glide that right foot up and in. Then walk your heels as close to your sitting bones as you can. You want to walk those feet in close. And then you have to use your mind's perception and just get a sense that your feet are parallel. So they're not turned out, they're not turned in, but the feet are perfectly parallel with each other. And then extend your arms 
down by your sides. You can turn your palms flat to the floor. We're gonna stand into the strength of your legs and slowly begin to roll your hips up off the mat. Now press your shoulder blades down into the floor and just with like 20% pressure, just gently press your head down into the mat, lifting your chin away from your chest. Then we have more room to stand into the legs, lifting your chest up towards your chin. So press down with the shoulders, gently press down with the head, stand into the strength of your legs, lift your hips to the very top of your pose. Then we'll slowly release and roll your hips back down to the floor. Now, Bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees open out towards the sides. You can let your palms rotate open towards the sky or let your hands gently rest on your belly. You can close your eyes here and start to turn your attention inward. See if you can feel the steady, gentle pull of gravity anchoring your knees down towards the floor feeling a softening a sweet release in your hips and your low back let your breathing be slow and deep and see how much you can let yourself relax in this pose. And you're welcome to stay here in this shape for as long as you like. And whenever your body is ready, you can begin to extend your legs out in front of you. Letting your arms and hands relax by your sides. Just let yourself settle in for a deep feeling of relaxation. And give yourself this opportunity to unwind and relax. This is the time when your body can integrate. Where your breath begins to deepen. And we touch that state of true peace and relaxation within. Take a little scan of your body. Notice if there's any tension hiding out. And with each deep breath, see if you can let go a little more. Relaxing deeper and deeper with each exhale. Feel free to stay and enjoy this relaxation for as long as your body needs. And when you feel ready, you can begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. You can begin to roll your wrists and ankles around, roll your head from side to side. Allow your body to slowly reawaken inviting in new movement. 
and stretch your body. And in your own time, in your own way, gently roll to the side and press yourself up into a seat. So allow yourself to just come back to center, noticing the shifts, noticing the difference. Just a few minutes of full body practice can turn everything around. So thank you so much for joining me and for allowing me to guide you in this practice. I look forward to seeing you every Thursday from here on out, here on Yoga TX. You can check out the new online community, Yoga V Community, where you can get your favorite Yoga TX videos ad-free. Check out the links below to learn more. Have a beautiful day, and I'll see you next week. Namaste.